In this video, we will show how to create knit bra edge fringe and slits. Let's start with a fringe hem. First, we add internal lines where we'd like to add the cuts for the fringe hem. Use the pen tool to add an internal line. Use clone by offset to repeat the line along the hem. Choose where you want to measure from, set the spacing, and the number of copies. Marquee select all internal lines and use slice. A pop-up will appear asking if you'd like to create slits. Click yes. If any lines do not slice, be sure they overlap the edge prior to slicing. Click Update 3D to see the fringe edge. To complete the effect, we will add a rolled edge look. First, lower the grid of the piece to 0.3 to 0.5. Next, stitch either side of the fringe piece together. Select the stitches and set the stitch release to about 65% to 70%. Update 3D to see the change. Last, reduce the stitch lengths by dragging the stitch down slightly from the edge. This will create a more natural look to the rolled raw edge and reduce any bunching. Next, we will show internal slits on knit fabric. There are two options. The first is to slice an internal line. Draw internal lines where you'd like to slice. Selecting the line, choose Slice. A pop-up will appear asking if you'd like to apply the inner slit property. Click Yes. Update 3D to see the change. Now we have a slit in the fabric. Note, this can also be selected under line properties. This option may not be best for knits. This is because the internal line represents both edges of the slice, so we cannot stitch the edges together to get the same look as previously shown. Instead, let's create a hole. Use Insert Rectangle. Click inside the pattern where you'd like to add the hole. Set one direction to a small amount. Set the other direction to be the length of the slice. Click Insert. Position the rectangle. Use Clone by Offset to create additional rectangles. Selecting the rectangles, choose Convert Internal Line to Hole. Update 3D to see the change. Now we can apply the same method as before. Stitch the edges together. Set release stitch between 65 to 70%. Reduce the stitch lengths. Update 3D to see the change. In this video, you've learned how to create knit raw edge, fringe, and slits. For more information, check out the Browseware Help Center.